This is Tacoma capensis and used to be called Tecomeria capensis or Cape Honeysuckle. And uh, it's an evergreen vining shrub, has uh, strong orange flowers as you can see here. Um, those flowers are born typically from fall, winter, through spring. And so m most of the year I find this has some blossom on it, but this is, uh, you're seeing it in the fall, September, October right here. And um, you see the hummingbird all over it. They love this plant, there's two of them. And uh, that's one of the uh, big bonuses with this is how much the hummingbirds enjoy it. So. It's a, as I said, it's an evergreen vining shrub, and what I mean by that is it doesn't tendril or twist. It uh, has pliable stems that, uh, as they get older, they become more woody and self-supporting. But when they're young, um, they're they're softer, and so it can be trained in ways that few plants can. Uh, these stems will typically grow 15 and up to 30 feet fo long and so if you use it as a bank cover or on a slope um, you can get it to spread out quite far. You probably want to space those out about 15 feet on center and uh, get coverage. So, But how it's usually used, and I've seen this a lot in Southern California, is it's used as a tall hedge of sorts. So, and usually there's something underneath it that gets it started so it has some support while those stems are still pliable and soft. And um, I recommend that. One of the pictures you're going to see in a moment is it looks like a green fence and it has a um, chain link fence in the middle of it uh, to get it started. And then the uh, plant envelops it and gives it that uh, evergreen hedge look. So that's here you go and that's that's the one with the fence inside supporting it I think that's a very effective look you know I've seen this uh, used in street crossings where they didn't want pedestrians going across and what they'll do is they'll put in a three to four foot high chain link fence and then they'll put this plant inside of it and uh, that way they have a more attractive barrier but it still uh, does the job so um, Full sun, preferred, can take part shade, but it's going to bloom better in full sun. It is cold tolerant to the mid-20s. We use it in our area, and I've seen it burn when it was in the low 20s. So it, it may be hardy down to the low 20s Fahrenheit, but um, better off if, you've, if you're... Uh, you're, you're a little warmer and you're you know around frost uh, 32 is uh, degrees Fahrenheit isn't really a problem for this plant so um, yeah I think in terms of design one of the best ways to use this is with some kind of support I've also used it against uh, stucco walls to soften the side of a house looks really nice with um, Spanish style architecture and uh, the orange color is nice, especially if you have a tile, you know, clay tile roof type of a thing. And I think that's about it. It, uh, it, it can take low water once it's established. If it's in full sun in a hot area, probably wants more regular water. I don't really consider this super drought tolerant. Um, and I think that's it. So Tacoma capensis, Cape Honeysuckle. Excellent evergreen, uh, colorful. Um, shrub slash vine and uh, blooms over a very long period so that's one of the big benefits is uh, attracts hummingbirds and blooms over a long period for you. Enjoy that one.